Hello, welcome back to my channel. In this episode, I'm going to be discussing the Box of Delights. It's delightful. It's by John Macefield, who was an English poet laureate, amongst other things. Um, it was first published in 1935, so it's right in my sweet spot as far as classic children's literature is concerned. I love interwar classic children's literature. Um, this is an abridged version, abridged by Patricia Crampton. Uh, somewhere I've got a full unabridged version, um, but I've got this one because I love the illustrations by Faith Jakes. It's gorgeous. It's a beautiful, beautiful book. Um, it's got all these um, lovely full-colour plates. There's Hearn, um, and um, oh, here we are, look is coal, coal haulings. Um, so this is a gorgeous book um, and the story is so, so Christmassy. This is a perennial Christmas favourite. Um, it's been adapted countless times for radio and television. Um, the most famous adaptation, I think, is the 1984 BBC six-part adaptation um, by Alan Seymour, who the following year adapted The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe um, in very much the same style. It was mid-80s BBC chroma key style. An awful lot of it was filmed in front of a blue screen um, and very poorly chroma keyed into various animated settings. I say poorly, at the time it was pretty revolutionary. Look at that, that's Kay Harker riding a horse in the snow. So Christmassy. Um, but Kay was played by Devon Stanfield who was perfect casting and it was a gorgeous television series if you're able to ignore the fact that it was the mid-80s and technology was somewhat clunky. Um, it had a beautiful piece of theme music, um, which was an orchestral adaptation of the first Noel. And that um, piece of music has been used several times in adaptations, in various different adaptations of the Box of Delights. And so that piece of music is now synonymous, at least as far as I'm concerned. The Box of Delights. The story features Kay Harker, who is a young boy returning from boarding school for the Christmas holidays, and he meets a couple of dodgy characters on the train. And when he gets off the train, he meets a mysterious Punch and Judy man, Cole Hawlings. Um, this man immediately befriends Kay, and the two of them strike up something of a rapport. The old Punch and Judy man decides to entrust into Kay's keep the Box of Delights. It's a magical box. It has various powers. Um, it can allow you to fly. Um, it can allow you to shrink to a tiny size, a little bit like Alice in Wonderland. Um, it can transport you into the past and you can generally enjoy the wonders contained within the box. So, Cole Hawlings entrusts this box into the care of Kay Harker because there are various dodgy characters trying to steal the box to use it for their own evil ends. So Kay Harker is in possession of the box and he uses it to have a variety of magical adventures throughout the book. And it really is magical. It's magical. It's Christmassy. Look at this. You see, this is what happens when you shrink in size. You can go for a voyage on a toy boat, a little miniature toy boat, down a little trickling stream. Um, and the whole world is enormous and it's just like um, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Uh, so that's the type of adventure that you can have. I'm going to find something else. Ah, look, you can ride dolphins. You can meet mysterious people in the woods. See, I find it impossible to look at an image like that and not be transported back to my childhood. I think probably the best time of my life was when I was around 10 or 11 years old and I had such magical Christmases. I felt the magic in the air. I loved the smell, the crisp, cold, snowy smell of the winter air in London. Um, and I had so many adventures and I would, I would watch Mary Poppins and Bedknobs and Broomsticks and uh, the Box of Delights and, of course, the Chronicles of Narnia. And, uh, oh, it was lovely being a child. At the same time, it was f***ing horrible being a child and I was a miserable kid. Uh, but somehow I managed to 
really have a lot of magic in my life. And look, coal, haul, coal haulings and you see, that is so evocative. I really love these old style illustrations. So I, do you know what? This is going to be a very short video because it turns out that I don't have a lot more to add, really. This is this is an all-time children's classic. Um, it's from a perfect period in history when um, magic still existed for children. And um, I like to... Th oh, look, look. Butterflies. He's flying with butterflies. God, that's good. I love this stuff. Um, it's... I, I, I like to think that even as an adult, I've still retained a certain portion of my childhood self. And every Christmas, I like to revisit that younger version of me, the innocent, pure version of me that isn't bitter and twisted and jaded and cynical. Um, and this really helps. Do you know, I really can't think of anything else to say. There, there are only so many ways that a person can say, I really like this book. So I will say it one last time. I really like this book. And then on that note, I will call it a day. Thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do. Please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and I will see you next time. See you later. <laughs>